I am a fan of Golden Hoops. Points off the bench for Hood. Collins with a back tap keeps it alive. Tory Craig took a shot in the nose as Collins throws it down with two hands. And Tory Craig is down in a heap. We'll take a timeout. Just think about it. He's three for four in the three ball along with all the batting. Great, great call. You don't need to, to push across. There's no reason for that. Now you got, you know you're going, yeah. and you're you're not going to. Now if you should win, or this goes game seven, you know he will probably be suspended if they make this a flagrant situation. Gotta be careful. Will Barton is a very huge nine. So only Will Chamberlain and Oscar Robertson were the two others to post those numbers for a playoff series. As Collins and Jokic start jawing here, it's the second time in this series that the teams have come together. We saw it with Murray and Ennis Canner in game two. Yeah, Leonard. Just 13 points tonight for Lillard. But number 14 is big, makes it a three possession game. Torrey Craig. Cantor ran over Torrey Craig and hit him in the hit him in the head again. Gary Harris coming up on Ennis Canter. Now the benches, or at least the coaches coming out trying to make sure the benches don't empty. It has been so physical all game and finally just spills over now. As Torrey Craig hit the deck. Gary Harris coming up on Ennis Canter. This is after the main three. Comes in for Dan Osich. Oh, what a knockaway by Johnson. Beautiful move. Goodness, and that is hard oh. to defend against Capella with all arms and legs. And it's the rotation over by Johnson. I'm a spit popping right there by Wallace. To Griffin. Oh. Look like that is on the, uh, the backboard. Griffin, bulldozing his way inside. He was saying that was on the floor. I didn't see anything oh, there. Oh, look at this. Oh, it, the words were between D'Antoni and Blake Griffin. And, and then Trevor Ariza comes over with the little elbow shove. There was nothing between CP3 and Blake. And, and Coach D'Antoni was telling the officials that the call should have been on the, on the floor. Yeah, absolutely. That's a goal team. I mean, it happened so quickly. Go out there and shoot. And Ariza holding on for dear life. <laughs> With it. Third now, foul you, you, on Gordon. You never want to hurt another player. And that's almost through the head area of Eric Gordon. Gordon knocked away by Wallace, but right back in. And Capella will finish. And Trevor's having words over in the bench Where right now. Go again. Yeah. Oh, they just tossed. They and Trevor, just tossed Griffin. Well, uh, Reza better not go out the tunnel that way because that's where the Clippers bench is. And this is smart right here. Try to get him to go and out the, the other way. So his teammate in Houston telling him to move on. Griffin is gone. Third quarter here in Vancouver tonight. Travel by Doncic, and Doncic getting into it here. Look out now. Hey, this is preseason, guys. And already tempers flare. Terrence Mann and Doncic. Yeah, I'm two feet inside, utilizing athleticism. That's just tough, bro. Terrence Mann is not a weak individual, and boy, did Doncic take it right at him now. A whistle and a technical. Now, there is history between Terrence Mann and Luka Doncic dating back to the bubble and the playoffs and we're seeing a little bit of it here. I'll tell you this, it's great from this angle here. Oh, and that's what he says up against the Clippers. You're too small, is what he would tell everybody and he's still talking to Terrence Mann. I mean, but I like the competition. <laughs> Terrence Mann and Luka are going nose to nose right now as the timeout is called. And referees and players Coming in to separate Terrence Mann and Luka. This is not the first time that we have seen those guys go back and forth. Got a deflection.
Reaction out of bounds. Timeout called. And then a conversation ensues. It's not the first time that these two guys have had words. Now Green and Tristan Thompson going at it with 2.6 remaining. And afterwards, Thompson says something and puts the ball into Green's face. You can't do that. No but he punches was free throws on the flagrant foul. As the Warriors start to celebrate the victory. A hard, despite a 51-point performance from LeBron. Out to Draymond Green and Tristan Thompson, Mark. And you see early on a lot of chatter with both guys. Both guys have to be held accountable. You're setting the tone as referees. They continue it after being warned. They still continue it right away, step in. I like this. Hit them both with technical fouls. But as a parent, you got to say enough and really mean it. If you say enough to your kids and they continue to do it, there's got to be a price to be paid. Devin Booker's at half court talking to the fans. Ball for three, puts it in. 118 to 92, the Suns have blown it open. 37 points for Paul. Booker talking to the fans, understanding. We've seen this movie before. We have an issue on the court right now between both teams, but Chris Paul. Beverly and Chris Paul. Look at the blow here by Beverly. Yeah, that's an elbow right there. Yep, that's an elbow right there. Yep, this is going to be a flagrant one. Young Patrick Beverly. That's an easy call. They scored 10 straight, the lead back up to 9. Oh, Chris Paul goes down hard on his back. As Beverly's whistled for the foul. Beverly laughing and mocking Paul. What is that review? See the music right here for the flagrant foul. That's not a flagrant foul. That's a foul. It's not a flagrant foul. Both of those guys are so good at, <laughs> no, at the theatrics. Right, and he's saying that dropped or whatever. 